What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Yamo and Drew from the Common Hype. We got Bryson behind the camera and Bo. What's up guys? Today we are in Dallas for the Secret of Exit event tomorrow on Sunday. But the day before, you guys know we like to come in, browse some of the shops. So we are at the Galleria Mall in Dallas right now. Bo's gonna show us around. Ate some fire Tex Mex food. Oof. Is that what's it? Yeah? Good. Thank that was good. You. It's right? worth Thank the you. handshake. This it morning it was absolutely fire, so we're well fed. About to go into the private selection spot here at the Galleria Mall. Pit check me real quick, right? First of all, we got the talentless black hoodie on, Lulu sweats, and then shout out to Bo. Because I just purchased these off him. You know, support your fellow resellers. I needed a pair of ochres for the piggies. So thank you very much. You're bro. welcome. Give it to him. Yeah. Uh, on top, we got the EE uh, sweatshirt. You saw us grab these in uh, Miami when we were over there for SneakerCon. Got the Lulu pants. Shout out to Johnson for putting me on these. <laughs> and uh, the neutral gray low is always everyday beater for me. Uh, Drew, hit him with it. Drew. Oh, right. Come out. Oh, wow. oh. <laughs> background just waiting. Those look way cleaner than mine, but we'll start at the bottom, all right? I got the cream play phones on. You guys know it's an essential travel shoe these days. Got the sweats on, and then the talentless hoodie with the OG hat on. Essentials. No, it is essentials. Hey, I didn't want to flex. That's all right. It's just a slight flex. Right, then man. I got the OG hat on, boys and girls. Wow. It's been through a little bit, you know? Too but much. It's seen the way better days. Oh, Flipping boy. over. Woo! Bless me real well. quick. Never leave that guy. Piggies down here. Got the curry dunks on today. Shout out to Steven for the great gift. A pair of black cargos right here. An essentials hoodie. It's on the back on this one. Some of the newer styles. And uh, we're in Dallas, boys. We got Bo here and everything. We got our event tomorrow. So you guys will actually be seeing this video Friday after the event. But uh, we're going to do some sneaker shopping today. You guys seem to love these videos. So uh, we'll follow Brandon in. Oh, yeah, he, he hit the loop. <laughs> boy, hit the pairs. Are you selling? Yeah. Like for sale right now? How much? Uh, it's all, I have 100 pairs. We buy, we buy bulk. You, you have PCH? We're here for a... No, I don't know. No, no. Other oh, guys. Did you, already sell them? Did you already sell the PCH? Yeah, they already purchased Nike pairs, so the, it's the, the rest. Yeah, I got oh, those. okay, I, I see what you're saying. Oh, okay. yeah, I purchased it. You did 100 for retail? No to retail, come on, man. Oh. <laughs> he went to the back door, G, come on. Right, ready? This is the back door. Yeah. Well, private selection should be just an hour, but uh, show me the show. Is where we leave it. starting upstairs in the private selection office. Pretty cool, attached to the mall. So it's just a short elevator ride up and you get to the private selection office as well as the Please Come Home office because that's their clothing brand as well. It looks like, I think this is Scotty and Larry's office right here with all this stuff, some merch and stuff. Went a little crazy on the cause cereal. Yeah, I heard that. That's right, eat it. And then you get into the big space right here. That's good. So say what's up to the private selection team, everybody. What's going on, what's up, boys? boys? What's good? Finally, y'all are here. We made the trip, made it happen. They were supposed to come visit us a couple weeks ago. Last week? A couple weeks ago. Yeah, two weeks ago. Last week. Yeah, last week. Two weeks ago. Didn't work out. Drew was networking, so. Yeah. <laughs> He's a little busy. <laughs> but this is their office, uh, and we'll get to the store in just a little bit. But I did want to introduce you guys uh, to them. We have Scotty, Larry, and Ian here. And why don't you give them a little tour of the office? Yeah, if you yeah. want to show them around, Larry, yeah, I'll let Larry do it. So from the entry, this is our main offices. Got a little stock here. This is essentially my workspace. Scott and Ian spend a lot more time in the store than I do. I'm typically up here with my brother handling a lot of the online stuff, taxes, payroll, whatever it may be. Um, so this is kind of my domain up here. That's your monitor? 48 inches, baby. That's right. I know, <laughs> I know, I know 48 inch monitor when so I see it. <laughs> really, my old setup was the cinema display with an iMac. So my that was my setup is those two side by side and then I was like man I just need one that's how Brandon so, operates now wow. just one big screen yeah. it's always the so, guys that do the numbers yeah huh? <laughs> <laughs> this is where we keep the stock for our network, network for those of y'all who don't know can't you put get, that in man you can't but shoot you can join on one it's like really big for sports cards uh, for sneakers and stuff as well so. network inventory then don't worry about it. <laughs> we created our set because we are known as the early bird boys, but we will get to that here shortly. But we created this set to just kind of create a new scenery. We're going to be doing podcasts and things of that nature as well. And then if you look to your left, we got the barber chair every Tuesday. Complimentary haircuts for all my employees. I have to make sure my guys are fresh on the floor. That's the number one thing. 
if you look the part and you play the part, people will invest into you. So if these guys are looking fresh, dressing fresh, and carrying themselves accordingly, then when customers come in and you explain things to them while they're shopping, they're gonna take what you're saying more serious and or maybe even leave with a purchase. So it's very important that we do haircuts. Hey, did you write that down? Yeah. I wrote, it, I wrote it down. Hey, hold on, why are they all roasty right now? <laughs> He's just the cheapest guy. The cheapest. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they're like, a mess. but there's, but there's nothing wrong with that. <laughs> Damn, bro! Come on, man. Spirit, Spirit, Spirit Airlines. This morning. I mean, come on. Spirit Airlines. Come on. And Brady didn't even have to pay for it, but we still ended up on Spirit. Somehow, someway. One thing you need to understand is when you go down stage, you're gonna see a lot of inventory in the store. None of it's consignment. We own every shoe. But the reason why we got to where we're at is because us three, for a year and a half when we first opened, never paid ourselves. I understand where you're coming from. There was no haircut. There was no catered food. There was no free anything there was at the no store. Toys. It was yeah, us. There was no chains. Yeah. There was no. nothing. No one had the, the diamonds yet or nothing like that because we took the sacrifice of taking everything, selling it, reinvesting it, selling it, reinvesting it, and just we kept doing it till we reached a certain number we told ourselves. And then we turned around, we're like, all right, now that we have this much in inventory and we're doing this much a day, it makes sense to budget ourselves this much at least as far as like to pay. And then as the store did better, we just added a little more to it, a little more to it. And now we're at like a number that we feel like is stable and I don't really see, I mean, we're comfortable enough living at that number to where now it's just like, we're able to buy a $5,000 shoe or like stupid crazy early birds for mm -hmm. dumb prices yeah. because we've created that budget, so. But don't get it twisted, get there was there. day, there was days we were in the back, I was on the phone with these guys, they're in the back, all like package just landed, these guys are in the back, Folding boxes, putting bro, them together, like, the worst. like don't get it twisted, yeah, yeah. you know, the like, worst. it's so, like, we're yeah, yeah <laughs> don't get it twisted, bro. We were there for a while. In the office, you gotta have things to do. So, <laughs> Supreme Ping Pong is one of the things we like to battle on here. Oh, yeah. I want to say he's not even in here. Jordan's the best. Michael's pretty good. Uh, Larry's Mike, brothers are actually pretty really good. Yeah. Michael's offended right now. <laughs> <laughs> Look at. He's Jordan's a definitely <laughs> better than you. You cannot lie. Bro. I don't know. We we'll just had like, we just had an intense Michael, doubles Michael game yesterday. Yeah, yeah Michael did. If that tells you anything, he yeah. was like, "Yeah, I got my." And then we asked him to use them yesterday, and he was like, "Wait, you want to use my paddle?" He's like, "Slides his drawer." He's like, "No, you can't use this." Yeah. Yeah. The secret paddle. And then he's corny because whenever he pulls it out, he goes. Oh yeah, he has to do the spin. Hello. This is a quick spin. I'm like, bro, get your ass out of here. I don't know if you guys have ever seen any of the footages. We have a lot of stuff on like nice kicks, sneaker, sneaker freaker, bar, sneaker bar. Yeah, yesterday we just got a nice kicks feature. I don't know if you guys saw that, yeah, but we did the, 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 the door. door we'll show you all those in a little bit, but so that's, where, that's where all the content's done. And then of course we have the kitchen. The kitchen is solely just for the guys to have break. But another thing that if you work here is we cater our food. So Chef Grev comes and we cater the food for our employees. Every Saturday, the reason why is it's really busy downstairs. There's not a lot of time to really just like have a break. So these guys come up here, get catered food, and then they get right back to work. Our kitchen's in our bathroom. Yeah, That's I was right. gonna say. In our, in our bathroom. Your bathroom's in the kitchen. Our bathroom's in the bathroom. five feet by five feet, yeah. He caters ramen every Thursday. So we may not have a nice office like Private Selection does, but what I do have is some very nice duffel bags, courtesy of Soul Premise. Wow. Now right here, W. What I do have is two duffel bags right here. The gray one is actually Drew's and the blue one is mine. Now you guys have seen Soul Premise before when we were doing a sneaker shopping video back in Miami and I showed you guys the backpack and the side bag and the duffel bag. But I really wanna go in depth on this duffel bag just because I've been through a lot of duffel bags in my lifetime and I must say I can personally vouch for this. This is the best duffel bag I have personally ever used because not only is it stylish, it fits everything that I bring. Not that I, you know, bring a lot of stuff because I'm a very simple guy, Drew. Simple man. Yeah, and just, Drew, just the essentials. We're on our way to Dallas right now, and this is everything that can fit into a sole premise bag. So not only do we have the bag strap right here for the over, over the shoulder, um, it's sized as a carry-on. So you can bring it as a carry-on, and we know that nobody likes paying those fees, especially when you fly Spirit Airlines and they want to charge it's 85 bucks hot. for a carry-on. That's some BS if you ask me. Southwest American, you get the free carry on, That's right? That's hidden fees. That's yeah, we don't do with all the hidden fees over here. Notice as I open this front pocket up, how much it actually holds. Wow. I have my outfit, Drew's outfit, and of course, you know, Bryson's gotta be extra, bring three different pairs of shoes. We have Bryson's shoes as well. So as you guys can see, we fit this all into one bag. Could have fit a laptop in there, could have fit more in there if we packed Really, if we needed more, if we were staying for a couple extra days. So that's everything that's in the big bag. Now, you're probably wondering, where are Brandon and Drew's sneakers? If you zoom in a little right there, you'll notice, A, a very convenient pocket for whatever you'd like to put in there. You know, could be toiletries. Put my info charger right there. Perfect spot, nice and clean. Yo, I'll never forget charger. Anything. Yeah, something like that. It's a deep pocket, too. It's yes. very Some deep. Some may say, too deep. 
But you'll notice there's there's something in here, Brian. Now, if you come down with me to this side pocket right here, I cannot believe these actually fit. But my Turbo Greens, no, mind you, I wear a size 10, you know, average foot size. I was like, ooh, I don't know if these are gonna fit. Turbo Green Jordan 1 highs, not only did they fit, but they fit really comfortably, so they did not crease in the pocket. Bring it over to the other side, Bri. Wow. I got Drew's International Flight 3s. Who knows what size this is, because we don't know Drew's size. This one just happens to be a 10. Wow. You're a 10. A little big on you? A little bit. Yeah, I can tell. It's worth it. But a thick pair of International 3s fit in the side pocket as well. One more for you, Bri. I like to put my keys in here so I don't forget them. Just a nice, another little side pocket. We have a code for you guys, a special code, that you guys can get 40% off your sole premise bag. Use code COMMONHYPE at checkout. There's a link down in the description below. And again, you don't wanna miss out on these duffel bags. Uh, they are in stock, but they do go out of stock real quickly as people get the colors. My baby blue one, it was out of stock for a little bit. It's but so they found nice. some stock, and there's stock online right now on the website. The gray one, there is stock. I don't know how much, but uh, they will go quick after a bunch of people see these out. So I just wanna thank Soul Premise again for sending these bags to us and that we actually use for every single trip that we make and uh, every single trip in the future you guys will see. We will be bringing these Soul Premise bags, the backpack, the duffel, and of course, the infamous side bag that I always wear. Anyways, let's get to the early pairs for the private selection video. One of the main reasons why we really brought you guys up here is because for those of y'all who do follow both channels, y'all know we are known as the early bear boys. Ah! Ah! <laughs> this is one of the things that we do. We're good at it and we got a lot of early shoes in here, man. And I kind of just want to run through them. We have like a whole box in there. Some of these you guys have seen before. Some of you might have not seen, but we're gonna give you close up details. And I just want to get y'all's guys opinion on like, what you like, what you don't like, what you think will do well sure. in your store, what you don't think will do well in your store, and you know, et cetera, et cetera. The way we do it, we do novice to expert mode. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So we start so we kind of on more GR stuff and we work our way up to like, what we can say, you know, heat. We can start with this one. Yeah. You can bring, bring it up. These can all go Dunks. to the sides. Favorite a novice? Yeah, it's a novice. It's yeah, it's a novice. Yeah, it's, a novice. Yeah. Well, well, it's just, it's just, I just, who is around? Yeah, yeah, I get you it. know who is around. I saw you. You were kind of talking about this a lot. Let's start. You're you're a fan of the colorway. Yeah, I am. I, yeah. I hate the material though because it's going to scratch and it's going to yeah. get dirty super super easy. But colorway, big fan. Everything. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Fine. Great. Something about the four. This generation. It's, like we have three employees downstairs yeah, wearing fours, right? And now, I don't know yeah. what it is about th this younger generation that loves the fours so much, considering it's an OG like yeah. that. It just looks good on foot. Is that like what? I think the influence to of the off whites too, because everyone got into the off white mm. fours, and that was huge. Now yeah. everyone sees every four. Wow. Like I love that. That's so crazy. I, got, I personally got the off white fours, and now I love fours. Now you yeah. love fours. I love fours so much. I'll say, I'll tell you this: four is probably one of my least favorites. I think it's one of the most uncomfortable Jordans. Very Jordan. uncomfortable. So I have, yeah. Just comfort wise. Yeah. That's why. Like, sure. Yeah, these two things. Sure. The way I look at this is back in 2012 and 13, I was selling the Fear Pack 4s, the Green Glows, mm -hmm. and things of that matter. And they kept the same gray color schemes and the same suede. So I like it. I'm just not a fan of the infrared. When they started switching the infrared up to like this highlighter infrared, is when it's I stopped so kind of. Yeah, yeah, it's when I kind of fell off with it. But it's definitely giving me like older vibes from back in the day. Yeah. So I do think that this shoe would do very well in the store and I think we'll do right. numbers with it but as a personal I would have to pass on this shoe. What numbers go well in the store? What sells the best? Well, in terms of just Jordans? I'm sure one. It's probably all the same, right? It's one, one, one three, three, four, fours, 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 and eleven. Fours. Fours. Elevens. That's like ours. And then the in-betweens is like, we don't really go heavy, be but we know there are people that do love them. And right now with like- We sold a Raging Bull 5 last we week. Did. Yeah. 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 We did. And a Shattered Backward 5. Yes. Wow. Wow. That's, wow. That's, That's our best for us. We to, well, I will crazy. say we did just take all of the Shattered Backward 5s and put them on network. But- <laughs> Very tough. <Right>. But, <laughs> but at the end is. of the day, we don't discriminate on we're not very like picky we like to get everything and so what we know sells well of course we get over 100 pairs i hope 100 pairs what we know doesn't sell well we get anywhere from like 50 or and up but we do that just for the sole fact that we just want to have it in the store to say that we have it because there are those people that come in there yeah, that yeah, yeah. we can are be confident for it. Yeah. at least 30, 40 people are going to We, we basically yeah. buy, we buy four release dates. So if release dates come, we're going to make sure we have it for there. Anybody that wants it. The Cardinal you know. 3s on the wall. Yeah, 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 yeah. We had Cardinal 3s last week, right. but we got more today. You but know when I mean? it comes to like five, six, <laughs> we saw your boy at the back door. Yeah. I hope 100 pairs. When it yeah, comes yeah, to like yeah. five, sixes, yeah. and sevens. I got his number. And, and yeah. Yeah. <laughs> for things like that, we don't keep restocking that shoe. Right. The five, yeah. sixes. Once it sells out, we're done with it.
with yeah. it. We leave it alone. The only things we always like to restock on is fours, threes, sure. ones, elevens, sure. and then any other like collab shoot. Well, I think it's a good segue. We're Boom. talking about the in-betweens, right? But I'm gonna say navy is probably one of the Navy's hardest. A yeah, it's, it's very hard. tough color. And we're in Dallas with the yeah. Cowboys. Like even with that being sure. said, it's still, it's still tough. not yeah. a so, color that people really yeah. walk that what much. What if it were a low, Drew? She was a big five consider. low, six low guy. Six? Yeah. Really? Yeah. They're yes. very uncommon. Oh, okay. So it's definitely cool though. Well, we got a bigger why. five low to show you. I know. Yeah. We, we were saw waiting. I was so probably excited. We had two. Right? Yeah. yeah. Orange label. Orange label, yeah. I know and way better orange label, Bry. So, so yeah, yeah. I was before gonna say. they have the reverse white orange label, so much yeah. and then they have this one, and apparently it's another a one take too. on the orange label boxes from back in the day. Yeah. Mm. And so that's the concept behind it. Cool. But I will say the quality of this is crazy. Yeah, really I was nice. feeling it when I was in film. Yeah. I'm just not a big on the gum sole, but with the brown in the gum, it doesn't look bad. So. It does feel like a Rawlings baseball glove, though. So, SBs, how do they do in the store? Great. Yeah. So they do well? Yeah. SBs and Dunks, I'm assuming, right? Yes. Yeah. Even like the high price stuff sells well in the store? Even the high price SBs, yes. Yeah. Gratefuls, Chunkies, all that kind of stuff? I haven't touched a Grateful at all. Just, I oh. not, purposely not bought that. No, nobody wants them. No one I haven't them? had anybody come to me. Like, there's just not a market great, for it? Yeah, not it's a, a shoe everyone's going to pick up and look at. And yeah. No yeah. How much does this cost? And yeah. you tell them like, yeah. tight. Yeah. But <laughs> the Supreme this. SBs? Yeah. We yeah, move yeah, so for sure. We move a lot of Paras. Paras. We move a lot of the old yeah. ones too. We get a lot of like FTCs, randomly maybe. new castles yes. come in, which yeah, is like yeah. now when you see all the oh, time and then castles. they just yeah. come in all the time. Yeah, you were wearing yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So you just got the, the four pairs now you, for yeah. sure. It is yeah. one of the four pairs. You guys sell <laughs> you guys sell used at your store as well. Yeah. 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 Okay. And we can move it. So that's where we get a lot of thing, these SBs that are worn yeah. a couple times that people love. How how is how is that? Okay. Obviously, our store. If you guys don't know, our store is DS only. Um, it's kind of because of the mall. We can't really do that, right? How is dealing with because even myself, I've never bought on like the scale of a store, like our store, buying used, right? Sure. So like, how how does that go? Is I, it easier is than there buying like a DS? collection where you go buy someone's whole used collection or are you just taking them as they come in? Taking them as they come in gotcha. for the most part. There will be some people that come through the door that have the same size and they're just ready to part with their collection to start new. And then do you guys price it based off of like condition? Yes, so okay. we'll price it off condition, kind of what market is. Got it, okay. Um, and then we, I mean, all of our used stuff, it's usually pretty, Good condition. We yeah. don't buy anything. Very little flaws. What's, no no star loss, heel drag. We don't pay super well for used though. Yeah. So like we'll it, get okay. it for a good deal. Sure. That's, sell it for a good deal right. and it's just in and out. That was gonna be my question. Right. What is the process for buying? Like obviously you can't go to StockX and look up a price, sure, right, for right. a used shoe. So sure. what, what, what's your goat, process for goat, it? Right? I don't even, I don't even touch goat. Even, even. This kid will eBay. just, he no. runs numbers in his head. I'll tell him straight up too. I'm like, dude, I'm not gonna pay you off of this. So it's yeah. like, I'm like, I'll give you yeah. 175. I'm gonna sell them for 275, right. and I'm gonna try to move them. I feel like That's honestly honest. though, with a used shoe. The person's not coming in there to really make money. They already got what they wanted out of it, whether it's like an Instagram pig or wearing it for an event or whatever. So now they're just more or less just trying to just get something back. Yeah. And where can you shop those used shoes at? <laughs> no, 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 not online. Not online. Yeah, where can you shop them at though? On our Instagram store, coming up easy. My collection is getting a lot bigger, and it comes to the point now where I have so many shoes that I might not even wear some of these shoes the whole year. So why am I gonna have to pay the premium when I'm not really gonna wear it a lot when I could just buy an eight or a nine out of ten? You know, and I'm aware it a couple times a year and it's right, gonna right. stay right. at an eight or nine yeah. out of yeah. 10. And so to me, it's just like, I'm not gonna just dig in my pockets and just sure. waste money. So buying new shoes, I mean, kids yeah. buy you shoes. I yeah. made that mistake too many times. When you were talking about Gratefuls, <clears throat> I paid 950 for the yellow pair, wore them one time, never wore them again. Yeah. So and now you don't even like that pair. Like exactly. That. Yeah. <laughs> and I for sure probably can't sell them for 950. Yeah. 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 So it's just like, it just, it's all down. Wear more I just have a, I have a wear problem more. wearing uh, undeasing shoes. I have a really big problem. Yeah. We're, we've been talking about it all morning downstairs. I have a ridiculous collection of DS shoes, and I can't put like bring it to myself to put them it's on. Tough. I can't. So I do it when I travel. So yeah. if we go to a different city and we're there three days, I'm bringing three new shoes I've never worn. Yeah. These are called the Heritage. Eighty five. And what we explained in the early bird episode we dropped last week is it's the sample eighty five is where they're getting the white toe box from. There's a sample 85 that never came out that's blue and I think red too, right? So that's where Travis Scott actually got his inspiration for yeah. the Frag High was from the sample that never released. And then they dropped the electric orange, which I think was just kind of like a test run to see like yeah. how well this white yeah. box, toe box will do. And, it didn't. and then yeah. now they're coming out with <laughs> hey, more of a colorway that- yeah. We move electric yeah, orange we all move day. a lot of them. Really? And then yeah. now they dropped a colorway that I think is more, <laughs> more, easy, to, <laughs> more easy to match with. And so I think these will do better because of the color scheme at hand. But don't get twisted. This isn't an 85 though. This is just going to be a regular right. Jordan they 1. They just took it yeah, from they just that. took the colorway. 
Why do you need them? Because I'm not gonna thrash around in black toes, breads, or Bread OG toes. Chicago. Yeah. Okay, I see it. Yeah. If I have breads, all that, and it's like, I don't even wear those. So it's like, I know I'm not gonna wear the highs yeah. for sure, because I'll take the low over the high any day. St. Patty's Day. Saint, yep, St. Patrick's Day, dunk. Those That's will be released in, soon, actually here soon. Yeah. Those will be in March, end of March. A lot of suede. Clearly well, got an old school SB vibe to it with the yeah. all over suede. I will say that has been in the bottom of this box for a while, so it's a little bit beat up. Yeah. You can tell. Yeah. yeah. Tough colorway. We'll be able to sell it. Yeah. Sure. It's a nice shoe, though. It's a nice shoe. I'm not a fan of this green. I like a darker green. Like a pine. As far as wearable, yeah. like, I don't pine, I not ever clover. wear this. Yeah. Yeah. Like, so, yeah. like Michigan For me, State. that's like the Halloween dunk. I'll wear them on Halloween. I'll wear it on Patty's Day. And yeah. then it goes back in the yeah. closet. <laughs> we'll tell back sure. But I, I can't find myself wearing those in uh, September. Yeah. You know what I mean? Exactly. It's like, that doesn't even make sense. You want to see? You want to hear something funny? I just thought about this. I saw a guy that actually just got this yeah, tatted, tatted on, him. on him. Really? And they yeah, sent him a right free pair, his, didn't he? Yeah, they got a free pair. He t got the, the Oski uh, logo tatted on his like hip and they sent him a free These pair. Tough. Thoughts yeah. on the Oski? Skate shoe. They are tough. Oh. You guys yeah. showed those earlier. Yeah, those it's are so funny because nice. it looks like one of those customs that one yeah, of these guys, exactly. like a Warren Lotus kind of vibe. Yeah, but yeah, it's, yeah. Weird. it's actually said, like it's weird that no one's ever done that before yeah. when all the uh, custom people are doing it. And be like how Nike was just like, okay, Nike cool. usually doesn't like let it. a lot of people do change the swoosh. I'm a fan of the red pinstripe. I like yeah. the all white feel to it. I just don't wear high dunks like that. So yeah. Yeah. it's one of those things like I personally won't wear it, but I personally like the shit. I'll skate it. There you go. There <laughs> skate it. The quality is nicer. All right, speaking of dunk highs, what you got over there? Uh, saw these when you guys posted them. Yeah, it's not bad. I love the Brazil colorway. The yeah. Brazil colorway. We, so had, we had the Brazil. We sold that one. Okay, already. I was wondering where those were. Yeah, we sold that one already. I'm a fan of the white and black ones. At first, I didn't like all the hits all over it, but they've it's starting to not really yeah. bother me. And by any means, it's Malcolm, Malcolm X quote, quote yeah. from back in the day. Supreme's done some collabs with them before in the past and used the same wordings. And so they just ran it back again. I will that. say, I'll still rock the low over that any day. Yeah. Supreme dunk. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm just not a dunk high guy. Personally. Yeah. Okay. I, I wanted to ask about that. How did dunk highs sell at the store? Syracuse did really well. Syracuse when high, black and white high, the panda yeah. highs, um, stuff like that. Pretty neutral. Yeah. Um, for, for us, we have a huge woman clientele. So really? That's, okay. That's, so that's what about the ambush. Have y'all had any of the ambush? Uh, I had one pair sold right away and now I was done with them. Okay. Yeah. Was, He's not a big fan of uh -huh. I love those ambush dunks. The black and whites are the best ones for sure. Yeah. I love that shit. I thought they did all right with the blue ones, and then when they did the, the all pink, the, all neon, I was like, oh, they ran off. They kind of lost. Well, what, I I, what I like about those is the way that they do the quality, right? So, like, the ambush is like a premium quality sure. dunk high. The fragment dunk high, and even the supreme, even no, though it's supreme's okay. Supreme's it, has, okay. it has some embroidery, but this is the same. No, 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 like it's, this not, is not, a, it's not. Feel it, feel it. The leather's better on that. Okay, he's like, yeah, I'm feeling it. Nah, nah, it's better than. <laughs> I didn't really feel it. Frag dunk is horrible. Yeah, like, frag dunk is like yeah. basic. Yeah. Like, yeah. 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 Frag dunk is horrible. So for us, I feel like with the dunk highs, we carry them just like we do five, sixes, and sevens. There's, there's no, not a lot of profit to be made with no. it, but there are those people out there that are coming in just for that, and sure. I want my store to be able to have what everybody, yeah. anyone can yeah, come sure. in and find sure. something. So sure. I'll, I'll, we don't I'll, go too crazy. I'll barely buy them. Like at this point, 30, 40 at a time. I, 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 I kind of stop buying. Them, I like dunk high is for females yeah. i feel like yeah it's like girls thing. always look for ones and they're always very expensive if, like i feel like the smart girls they know like they know they can get a dunk and get the same high. look yes, yeah yes this is dope though this is, is dope liquid nah, this metal. is dope bro liquid metal yeah you yeah so, hot dunk high. let me tell you you got you got to show them this though you might have to have a couple of those in the store though yeah so, so it actually goes from the clot logo to the nike yeah, that's picking up. This we have a couple of dance clients, like of our girls who do yeah. dance a lot. Yeah, yeah, that would fit them. Yeah. So, other than that, I no shot. You're not. You, are you a fan of the shoe at least? No. Uh, no. What? Mm -mm. Why? It's too crazy. Why though? It's yeah. I, I just. I don't know. You already don't like dunk. It highs. also reminds me of the. It's not even a dunk high thing. I just. I don't colorway. like the all over. Reminds me of the Japan. They remind, I, I me of the, this, like, they remind me of the Super Bowl trainers from back in the day. Yeah. When I get my size, I'm wearing those 10 days in a row. <laughs> <laughs> Drop the fit pick. He's just wearing like aluminum foil. Yeah. <laughs> That's just like full fillet, bro. Yeah. yeah, I left the other one downstairs. We've all seen that one. Yeah, right? right? Yeah, right? yeah, 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 the blue one. This yeah, is the only one the we haven't shown That's on the our only channel. one I could not get. When you yeah. got that, I was Shut like, oh, no, we can get that. These are going to bang. <laughs> These are beautiful. Those are nice. So this one supposedly is going to be Union exclusive to their website. Sure. Yeah. Just like they did like. Like, uh, guavas mm -hmm. for the for the yep. fours. Dude, Union's just been yeah. killing it. Yep. Yeah. I, like I, I, body collapse. I need a personal on the Laker. Them, I really 
You see the picture of the Cortez that they're doing? No. It's Cortez, right? It's yeah. wild. Yeah. Is it's it? pretty it's crazy. Yeah. Wild. I'm not a fan. I'm not no. a fan of the Cortez. They've been hot lately. I'm personally a fan no. of these. Yeah. The baby blue? The baby blue. I just wear a lot of the LA Laker colorways, yeah. so fit wise, well, I could throw that. These colors too, so see, I like the Midnight Navies better. I was going to say, I like the Michigans. I'd put those in two. I'd put these last. No, I love these. I like them. It's I, not last because I, I don't like them. I, I think just that's think. my lineup to the the so, ones, then the Lakers, yeah. then that blue. So yeah. people keep bothering us in the comments to rip one of these apart because they're if, if the layer comes off. Can we do that right now? No. <laughs> Are you sure? Early bird king's got to do it. That's what I'm saying, bro. And these look good because they're on foot. You should so see them not on foot. Those I need to. Those are, those are tough. I like those. Those, those, are those. those are kind of nasty. What? Those are kind of tough. I need to see them in on. hand. Let me let me find Ooh, it in hand. This, is hard to this like, shoe is garbage. This is different. Bro. I don't know. They're kind of tough. I'm gonna buy a pair. Do you like this? <laughs> no, I appreciate the shoe, and I've always I moved to LA when I was 15, so I've always had an appreciation for like Chucks and sure. Cortez and like the LA sneakers. So I like I like I loved it when Kendrick. Did a Cortez, yeah, was, but it's like I, I mean, if I you, buy if you, them. If you, you say so. Look at that. Those are those are oh not bad. What do you mean? Yeah, those That's, are kind of tough. You want to know why? Because it's got a Sakai beat. He garbage. Loves, <laughs> loves Sakai. He loves that. So from the looks of it, it looks like the, the sole guy. might be recycled, and that's one thing I don't like because it shows the particles in it. Yeah, and then there's stripes on. The, if you don't, if you look closely, it's like green and tan stripes. It just looks weird. All right, whenever <laughs> you guys get it, I need a Fitbit. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I need yeah. to see what you want to do with that. First in hand, so send no, me no, I, I passed on it like, like you a month ago. I don't want it. Really? Yeah. Come on, please tell me you don't love this shoe. Those no. are so tough. You're lying. Yeah, I'm hella lying. <laughs> yeah, those He's big lying. Those are pretty bad. First of all, it's like. First of all, it weighs like five pounds. You gotta have so a is that heavy? heavy. Yeah. That's what do you mean? Oh, it's super heavy. Very heavy. And you, got, you, looking you at have it. a spike in the bag. It's hella aerodynamic, though. Yeah, super. <laughs> <laughs> I'd rather wear one of the cause Sakai Blazer Lows than those. Ooh, it's gonna do to look real like, quick. It weighs about quad, five pounds, Sakai, and there's just a obscure, lot like, going on. Okay. But what I will say is the leather oh, quality on this shoe is actually really, really nice. That? You so like these? these? No. Oh, that spike oh, is oh, massive. He's saying he doesn't mind them. I do mind them. I know. I mind them. I feel like that shoe has been in that box for like nine months. It has. I got this like a year ago. I'm a sucker for gum bottom on black. Here's what I don't understand. Why did Rui get a dope Jordan? Tell him. He's had a, a lot of hype because okay. he's one of the only Japanese basketball players okay. to make it to the league. Okay. And that alone is huge. Plus like really just his personal brand and mm -hmm. the stuff like he kind of stands for and Jordan just kind of be needing like a Japanese it's athlete. It's like a little niche market right? for So him, I, I think it's okay. and he's huge it's in just, Japan. Like so, like in, huge. so in baseball we had Ichiro, right? right. That was he transcended baseball for Japan. Okay. Now it's huge out there. So I think they're really backing Rui in basketball, and he's actually been performing so that it's like good. Push. And, and then sneakers are big over there too. Yeah. So, okay. so I think it's a mesh of two worlds coming together. So they can stand that's, on and I think and I, probably the I best answer for that. It <laughs> that the, he got that's a deal. A, so I think it's so sick. It's he got cool, a deal. But let me tell you why I'm upset. Luca got a Luca mid. got a Jordan One mid. And then they backdoor with that other one that he got. Rui those. is not even the best. No, I agree. Player in his draft class. I agree. It actually would have made more sense to switch them. It would based it, on their demographics. I would, it, this would have made more sense to give Ja or Zion. Zion got a trash. Oh like, yeah, well, yeah, he got a Zion. Yeah, yeah. they gave him with some trash. Zion, what, yeah. Not the thirty fours. What are they? The, let's say yeah, the it was like, it was, it was like those it was, are fire. I really <laughs> like those. It's a hoop shoe. Think about it. It's a hoop shoe. It is. It is. It's, it's a hoop shoe. Yes. That's my yes. hoop. But that's my point. Yes, that's my point. What Why did Rui get a Jordan eight? Like don't that, know, like, don't care. The happy that, for that, him. No, <laughs> yeah. that, that is disrespectful. I don't think it is. Jordan Brand, why did you do that? This shoe is sick. The, the shoe is sick. sick. They went crazy. But it's disrespectful to Luca. Yeah, you get a buzzer. Yeah. 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 I'll, I'll make though. a prediction that these will never be in common hype AZ. <laughs> Cap, yeah. I might get a pair. Really? It might be Come GR. On, bro. I, I am myself on, bro. a very yeah. successful yeah. Japanese I don't think, I don't, oh, not yeah. GR. Yeah. It's not gonna, it's, uh, obviously it's collab, yeah. but I don't think this is gonna be that hard to get. Yeah. I buy a lot of shoes based on being confident that you're not gonna see a lot of other people wearing them. And so for that reason, that, you like those? I, would, that I would pull these out at a sneaker con or something because I know I'd be the only one wearing them. I like that beige tank all the way. I like the color. The bo I, I love the bottom of the shoe. This is my first time. Yeah, let me the bottom the, of the shoe. Let me get the these details on that. Yeah. These are crazy. So, it's just it's Chan nice. Chanel it's just patch. Well it's very well put together. It's got a soft uh, suede to it. We gotta, we gotta grab a pair, bro. 
satin on the tongue. It looks almost like a weird print <laughs> on the tongue as well. Mm -hmm. Is there anything on the insoles? Yep. I don't know if you can see in there, but. Yeah, it's picking up a little bit. Yeah, those are sick. I think as far as color schemes, I like these. In quality, I like these. For the toe bra? I'm gonna have to, bro. It's a well I like the story behind you, too. Though. It is. It's a hell of detail. That's a nice Jordan 8, though. Your favorites right here. Here we go. First, clot. The clot low. I'll let you hold it. I'm here for it. Yeah? Oh. Yeah, that's tough, girl. That tough. is tough, dude. See, the so, thing, I don't wear a lot of all black shoes. I don't but need to. I love all black This shoes. is good. The last five low that they did last year was the Chinese New Year one. The one that tore away the tan one? Yep, which I just got from Bryson. And it yeah. looks it looks Happy birthday. similar. It's similar close. vibe. <laughs> and I passed on it. Yeah, those are nice. That one I will that get. One is those but are again, I'm, yeah, those I'm are a nice. fan of well, Bach Edison nice. Chen and these sure. weird obscure Asian brands like that. Right. So I, I It's have funny to. I actually break with Edison Chen. Do you? Yeah. And it, and every time he's on there I'm always like, Oh hey, I like your new Air Force Ones and right. he'll be like, What? Like how does this guy even know what I'm talking about? Yeah. <laughs> These yeah. are good though. These will be really good. Are you good. a fan of the color schemes though? Like with the yeah. red and the green and the black like I that? I love it. I love it. So you see it's got like high high satin, or excuse me, has high quality satin with the inner lining and on the exterior. So that's one of the things the I like about it. inner lining might be a hard. I wonder if this tears away. It, it I mean, might. Everything that uh, that material is. Everything is cloth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Only one way to find There's out. Yeah, yeah. Only yeah. yeah. one way to find out. Yeah. Come on, Ian. Man. No. Come no. On, no. Let me take a knife We're not to cutting it. stuff up. Until we cut it and there's nothing underneath. <laughs> We're like, all right, cool. We just wasted a shoe. I will say that this shoe is one of those shoes that I didn't think I would get a lot of response from. But when I posted it, I tons of people hit me up. Yeah. I want that. I want that. I want that. Yeah. Even to this day, like all the sneaker uh, blogs, like Z Sneakers, all these people, sure. they repost our photos like nonstop yeah. for that shoe. Right. What does that say right there? Yep. It's Don't back. It's Don't back. We just got a pair of the 2018 SBs. And y'all know like the history of Dornbecker, yeah, why Nike yeah. does this. Yeah. Okay, you ready? Not to have this for you too, all right? I just have the full set. Yeah. my first time oh, to wow. see these. Yeah, Dornbecker used to be off-white before there was off-white. Like exactly. this that was, was this was the That was like the fancy. Yeah, yeah. This yeah. Was one yeah. These were the thousand dollar shoes yeah. that came out. The eights, the fives, the black light. Yeah. Those, yep. The fives yep. were the so fives are wicked, nasty. yes. Yeah. That was a good one. These yeah. are nasty. Those For are. For some reason, I thought this these were the Ruiz because I saw your page and I, I, oh. I got so mixed up. Oh, okay, So now these are Dornbeckers. So yes, cool. yes. Yeah. These are ridiculous. It's Michael Wilson. And even on the back of the shoe, check under the jump man. That's initials. his initials. Oh, that's, that's, that's sick. sick. That's nice. There's Take a lot away. of cool key points. The eyeballs inside of the, right yeah. here to go with the fin yeah. to show the shark. Both yeah, show tongues that. are completely Velcro. And then you have all the little patches to add on. That's, that's sick. sweet. I'm a fan of this color blocking. I have the blue, the greats. So I've never worn them because I got them signed mm. by them. Huh. But <laughs> I love that shoe. Yeah, it's a dope shoe. I just shoe. bought you one the other day. I just love the quality day. and the color really on it and everything like that. And it's I got it for a seal because it was huge. How'd you get it signed by him? Uh, he's from here. He's from Dallas. Yeah. No, no, no. So he yeah. did a signing here. Not here, but in Dallas. Sure. And so I have my buddy, Mick Gavin, so I was busy. So he signed the box and the shoe. That's awesome. He did like, he did his own little piece of artwork on every box. So he just do like a little. Are you going to wear them? I don't think so, at least. I mean, I don't and, he, and he has a Luca stashed under his desk. Waiting for Luca to come in. We all have oh, Luca stashed under our desk. Really? I, I wear mine. Yeah. Luca, uh, I have if you're mine. watching, yeah. Luca, my please. shoe is under my desk. I need you to sign it, please. So I bought like 30 of those right before, was it last year's playoffs? Yeah. Just to see what happened. Yeah. They didn't really do anything. Oh, we bought way more than that. Yeah. yeah. I bought, I bought for the home team. We had, like, I think I bought like 150 of them and they actually chilled. We still and, have we some. We still have some. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They, they didn't, they didn't. No, they haven't done anything. Yeah. yeah. Plus, I can't through. move men's minutes, but you guys probably move. Oh, minutes. yeah, yeah. Well, we stopped because we just are out of space. But yeah, when when we had mids, we would move. Thoughts. Fire. fire. Good Perfect. Shoot. Yeah. They did fire. great with that fire. one. Fire, fire, fire. I think we fire. all agree. Yeah. Great shoot. Right shout, out, shout out to Michael on that one. Yeah. Good yeah. job, Michael. Yep. Big macaroni guy. Yeah. <laughs> Big macaroni. Respect. See how it's yeah. creased? The crease means that it was taken from the factory yep. and folded up and snuck out. Gosh, I would have left those at the factory. Yeah. <laughs> I'm wearing those in Denver. I don't know if you ever saw when um, Virgil was like, he made a post and said, finally someone has a good enough picture for me to talk about it. It's that fair. Really? It's this exact fair. Yeah, this is um, this is very designer -ish. Yeah, yeah. It gives me just big designer vibes, Bro. so I can see why people love them. Yeah. I'm wearing those to Denver. Whenever sneaker con Denver, whatever, that's when I'm wearing that All shirt. All right. Took a little food break, huh? Yeah, bro. I'm not mad at the upper. Good. It's just this. It's amazing. It's all the spikes. It's always the same. And yeah. this right here too. Go ahead. They add this block. Like, yeah, that's a, yeah, yeah, that's a brick on your foot. Yeah. I know why they did the box like that. Yep, exactly. They are heavy. 
It does have the swoosh, just like the uh, the ones. The ones. I yeah. like the ones. It. I was are, gonna say. Off yeah, if you take if you take this bottom part away, it's good. I do like this too. You see how they like he like melted the sole, yeah. so it looks like the sole is just melting everywhere. Sure. Yeah. It's, it's something different. It's different. Yeah. It's, it's cool because like some of the times we see something new and we don't like it because it's not something we're used to seeing. Right. And I think when we they do something new and there's not a great reaction, it's just because we're so comfortable with seeing the yes. same stuff mm -hmm. over and over. So and then you I see that guy wearing it, and you're like. Man, I fuck with that shoe. Yeah. Man. I appreciate like, that. Like that. That's the kind of stuff I go for. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Where it's like, yeah, I don't know about that. And then I wear it, and then you, and then it's like, okay, yeah, yeah I see. Yeah. I appreciate the new design. Yeah. At least it's evolving somewhere. It, yep. could, it could turn into something. Well, that that's the key for me. Is just the evolution. Show yeah. me something different. I don't care if it's a spike on the bottom or a weird block on the. Like at least it's just like mm -hmm. some type of like trying to make progress and improve on an idea and reinvent the wheel i guess you could say i will say yeah. i don't know if this is ever going to release anymore yeah price yep. just went up yeah yeah there's a lot of shoes here not yeah for there's sale a lot we have a ton of shoes that, that blazer is technically not for yeah. sale because it's got postponed so yeah. Yeah. off by blazer this one's not for sale that one i don't care about as much anymore. all three of these we've sold a few but i think we're keeping some of the ones no nah, those i don't care about selling except for these are arguably yeah not releasing the I day after we now. posted our video i think they, they are now all right, let's just pull out both colorways. Yeah, yeah they, 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 So they, you guys know Memphis already has A video we posted last week you. that you guys That's saw well, was around mine. these and the F and F paradox. Yeah. So we we is talked it, about these. What do you guys think about them? I really like this one personally. Are you an Air Max fan already? Yes. Before the shoe? Yeah. Yeah. The comfort and the style. I've always loved Air Max. You, these yeah. are comfortable? Yeah. Weird. Every Weird. time I put on an Air Max one, I think, how is this a running shoe? So there's major detail going into these shoes. Nice. You got the beads for the check. You have the inner hiding of the lace locking. You have the blacked out bubble. And then just different things. Like, I don't know if you guys saw, but if you pull these tight, it pulls the belt tight all the way around and helps kind of close in on the shoe a little bit. I would definitely go with that one over this one. But I think these are both solid pickups. I'm taking the yellow. I'm taking the yellow. See, solid color shoes are hard for me. To so you would go with that one? So I would go over. What would you go with? I'd probably go with these. Brown. Yeah, brown. All right, Larry. Odd man out. <laughs> well, I mean, Larry's not the odd man out because whenever we shot our video, I initially went with this one. Yeah. Like, I like this and shoe. And now over time, you switched. I like this shoe. I just think that one's more wearable. Yeah. yeah. No one else has this colorway. So you might see the brown one, but you don't have this one. I forgot you got these. Yep. I think these, are, these are in the case down there, yeah? Uh, yes. Yeah, so and then this is. case goes yeah. right. That goes up right over it. Little condom. Yep. Exactly. So, cool story. <laughs> Wrap up. Cool story. <laughs> yeah. All of the rep nice. companies in China are hitting me up to try to buy this from us because none of them have access to a real pair so that they can start making reps. Yeah. So now I get I get DM'd all the time by <laughs> all, all the Chinese crazy. company that want to get this so they can take it and start replicating. I think Travis does a really good job at reworking really classic shoes. Yeah. Yeah. I like his colorways that he chooses. Yeah. Yeah. This was an interesting one. I never thought would work, but it worked. Yeah. These are a problem. Eat it, bro. I will say this Eat specific pair. That looks well. Yeah. See? Yeah. These are actually samples. So this is a sample yeah. of the mocha. Fire. Yeah, you can see in there. That's sample crazy. first. Leather's amazing. Yeah. The cool part is it's not like good leather and bad leather on one shoe because they mix it up with good suede and good leather. So everything around it, to me, I feel like it's put together well. But he didn't do an alternate color for the heel. He kept it completely white, which is one of the things I like These about it. These might be better than blues. They're pretty. Hell cool. yo. Dude. Then the I just love blue, the color blue and black. No, that's what I, I was. That's what I was saying that too. I'm I think a big like this one. Yeah, but this, I really like these. Mm. Dude, cream lace is just yeah, yeah it's nice. Yeah. I just love that big. I love the big cream on this side and then the white on that side. Yeah, how they're they more alternated it. charcoal in person than they yeah. are then they brown. Are brown. Part, yeah. yeah. Because the question uh, is like, it is mocha though. Yeah, it's like, the exact same mocha. Like the ac the actual color is mocha. But it looks so it's the same as the mocha. Sure. But I think it's just when it's surrounded by these other colors, it yeah. looks charcoal, it it, it more charcoal. It down a little yeah, bit. Like yeah. That's more mocha than yeah. that is. Because yeah. Yeah, when the pictures dropped, we're like, he already did a brown. Like, yeah. This, mm -hmm. it, look, it looks good, but it's like, why did you but if do you go get a mocha, so But if you go get a mocha it, Jordan 1 and hold it up to it, you'll be like, oh, it's mocha. Right. Yeah, it's yeah. exact same. Yeah. This is my shoe of the year from what's leaked so far. Sure. Cool. Bam. You've got two different lace styles here. This is like a super thick circular style lace and then you've got this traditional big yeah. canvas lace on the heel insert you've got two different colors brown olive on the other cpfm hit on the tongue nike on the other 
Um, I believe this bottom is supposed to be like if you walk in mud. Or yeah, like, you walked in mud and grass and then it dried on your shoe. Yeah. That's what. I don't know if work. you've ever like cut the cut the grass like a day after <laughs> it rained. It's like yeah. moss. Yeah. These are what my Air Forces looked like after Mexico. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. These but, are uh, tough though. Yeah, you got a nice little L and R on the inside to let you know yeah. which shoe goes on which foot. Just so like the Air Force. Extremely yeah, Some guys get confusing. Yeah. Yeah. Some days, man, it's just like that. <laughs> One, um, I, one I, check on one side, no check on the other yeah. one. Yeah. Dang. Dang. Even though this is still considered a dunk, but the silhouette doesn't necessarily... It looks more like the... Um, what are these disrupt dunks that yeah. they started doing that have oh, a yeah. taller sole like this? And I think some of these details just look more like these other types of dunks that they've tried to create. So what so. I thought is dunks typically just come in like your easy two to three color patterns. Mm -hmm. SBs come themed. That's a themed shoe in my eyes, yeah. even though, I mean, it's collabed as well. So clean, collab and theme. So I'm just confused as to why it's a so dunk and not an SB. But let me show you why, so but let me show you why. One of the main things is just the bottom is how I tell the difference. Right, that's so, true. So, but this is actually where I think they got the inspiration from. This is the Nike Airscape 3, right? Look at the pattern. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Look at the back. Absolutely right. Interesting. Look at the, the look at the sole. Look at the swoosh too. You did your research. Look at that. Nike and then look at the tongue. That, that tongue is the exact same yeah. tongue. So oh, I bro. think it's an Airscape 3, and then they threw an S, uh, a dunk the sole, sole on it. Yeah. Wow. Which was cool, but I will say that it took this, a little- That's when, why we when, pay this guy the what, big bucks. When, <laughs> I found, when I found that out, I was like, it actually took a little bit away from the shoe for me, because I thought that she did it all like right. herself, but now that I see the inspiration, I'm like, oh, okay. So you, you, didn't like do, you didn't do as she much as I thought. She made it her own yeah. twist. She didn't make her own twist, but she didn't do as much as I thought. Yeah. She did so you like them? I love this. Love shoe. it. I love this. Yeah. Shoe. And I love the dust bag. Yeah, dust bag. I know you're gonna have a fit in these ones. Hundred percent. Yeah. <laughs> when you yeah. guys posted them, I was like, I think it was. I think I saw your pictures first. Possibly. Whenever I saw them first, though, I we were all sitting together, and I was like. They're tough, and they're like you look like the guy, the guy that would like them, but yeah. they didn't really like. You like could have them. those on right now. I was, I was yeah. just about to say that you could throw that on right now. They yeah. didn't really vibe with it too much at first, and I kind of how I was just saying, I kind of had to convince them like we're so used to seeing this same, and it's just different yeah. colors. Yeah, this is something different. No one's seen this before. Like, For sure, that's what makes it cool. I want to know how well this is going to hold up. Like, yeah. I, it's it could, I mean, we. Put it in and out of these bags where it's grabbing onto the little pieces, good. and it's been pretty good. Yeah. It's pulling like, the towel can, off and not the shoe. Like whenever these we little do pieces that. Yeah. don't come off easy. Sure. Like, Silhouette-wise, it, it it almost looks like those uh, the lawnmans that have the big thick laces. Uh -huh. Like it, it kind of gives me that vibe, more yeah. of like a designer shoe as right. opposed to a dunk. Do you guys like these, these better than the green and the silver Swarovski ones that they did? Uh, I I have a. Oh, no, yeah, I don't. No, I don't. I love those Swarovski ones, yeah. but I have such a sore spot in my heart for those, so I'm just gonna have to move forward to these <laughs> mentally. <laughs> I'll give you a little quick story why. Don't miss these ones. Long story short, I actually hit the raffle. You've been selected, but I didn't see this email, and I only had 30 oh, minutes, or the link will expire. Oh. So I hit them for retail, 550. I missed it. I didn't even get to check out. I saw, I saw that email like an hour later. It was already too late. Wee and then they were 2,500 at that point. And I was just like, no. Now they're 4,000 and I'm still like, yeah. I almost bought them on one of one episode. I thought about it for a second. I was going to cash out the four, but I was just like. Yeah. I, got, I got my pair when they restocked. The, yes. the second time yeah. and the prices went down on there. I think if they <laughs> I, I think if they drop the way they drop the Saborskis, it's mm -hmm. gonna be a mm -hmm. 2K yeah. shoe. I don't think yeah. those shoes are gonna be I, any less than a thousand dollars at any point. It, it might be like just because of the way like that how they're built, it might be expensive to make. That's it. what I was gonna say. I don't feel like there's gonna be a whole yeah, lot. Because that's the that, reason why Saborskis were like that. Yeah. Because you don't have a lot of that material no. yeah. so, like that's where I'm, that was five fifty retail. That's yeah. what I'm saying. Yeah. And that's what I'm saying. It's not an easy shoe yeah. to create yeah. or like Nike spending no no. No, so one of the things so I think the yeah. one of the things I think Travis does really well with keeping his shoes high is that he doesn't allow every store or anyone to get them. He always does like a lot of his online stuff only, and then a couple other stores, and that always helps build the hype and the demand because they're just not 
everywhere. Mm -hmm. CPFM kind of starting to do the same thing and I think that's how you keep the attention of it being high and exclusive. The minute you start dumping it to all these different stores and no one cares about it because right. it's just there's no demand for it anymore. So if they do do it like you said with Swarovski's, I think that would be great. Yeah. So that was a long early bird episode, but well worth it because you guys saw some stuff that no one else has seen unless you guys subscribe to them. So if you guys have not subscribed to them, be sure to go subscribe to them. We haven't even shown you their store yet, so we'll go downstairs now and uh, actually show you guys the store. Um, it's it's pretty crazy after yeah. seeing it in person. Let's get into the good part. Yes. Hopefully, hopefully it's calmed down a little bit so we can move around. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. All right, so we just got to private selection. All the homies are here. It's popping for them on a Saturday, of course, because the mall is super busy. Got their whole store here. The green grass. We've seen it a bunch on their YouTube, but just being in store, it's kind of cool to see. Uh, they've got a lot of stuff mixed up. You got hands social over there, a bunch of jeans. So what they were telling us is that they do a mix of retail and resale stuff. So you'll see a lot of like billionaire boys club stuff, pleasure stuff, home with fem uh, stuff. And then you have, of course, the Supreme, the Jordans, uh, and everything else on these walls. So this is like the clothing spots over here. You'll see some great school dunks over there for the ladies. You've got some new stuff over here, which I personally haven't seen the Cardinal Creed yet. Are the homies in here? <laughs> I'm weak. Don't bro. tell me I'm about to be on your YouTube video. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, I'm definitely watching it now. How you guys doing? Follow me on Instagram at Chika Okegbe. That's C-H-I-K-A-O-K-E-G-B-E. -E. Thank you very much. There it is. There's a bunch of fives over here. Something I wish one day we could move, but that is not that day today. Uh, <laughs> Lightning fours, Cardinal threes. I haven't seen these in hand yet. Um, Sorry, boy, he put the cart when we started the video. We did. Some yeah. guy was walking out with a clip. I'm like, bro, you saw and he's like, I already sold a thousand PCH or a hundred PCH. I hope 100 pairs. Yeah, I. this is not a red, Drew. Look Dude. at these. I know. Like a darker RKO pink. Yes. Is that what we're looking, is All that right. what I'm seeing too? I thought it was more of a red. Do you, do you see that? Yeah. Yeah. If it was more of a red, it would have been a little better. I'm, and dude, like the I'm quality okay. control lately is so it's been bad. We were I'm, so excited I'm about so this so in excited. the car today. I know. I don't know if I could do it anymore. Oh, that's so sad, man. I was gonna get a pair for all three of us because we were basically we're the same size. I like them, but again, I think I mean with me, I'm a size 13, so these threes look so bulky on my feet. Like I just can't do what it. What do you think about I the color? Just, the color. I don't know, honestly, I like it better in hand. I don't know why, I mean, I'm the opposite of you guys. I actually think these are better. I really like the satin on the inside. I think that that's a really good hint right there, but people are gonna like these, that's for sure. Yeah, but like, absolutely. I can totally understand where you yeah, guys are you coming guys from. Want, this is a if weird If you guys want them, you guys can probably yeah. shop at CommonAPZ.com by the time you see this video. So nice if you plug. like them, yeah, 24-7. Right this is some stuff Ian just really doesn't want. <laughs> Retail. Over here we got some fours. Looks like we have um, some Velo and stuff over here. They bag all of their clothes. Again, something we don't personally do, but they also keep all of their shoes unwrapped, unshrink wrapped as well. So they leave them open on the shelves kind of like we do. Drew, I'd kill you in this game, so that's not gonna happen. Yeah, but all right. would. Something I really like and I want to incorporate into our new store is these great big like glass display cases with LED lights in them. Listen, I don't think you guys understand this new store. Like in our heads, we haven't really portrayed it to you guys. This is gonna be like, this our baby. Like obviously the first store was great and that's what we were working with at the time, but now it's like, we want to go to the next level and I think this is like showing a little bit of what we want in certain spots. It's great to go to these stores because it just blossoms ideas that we can do and potentially implement into our new store. Sorry. So it's awesome to see. And we're always taking all these different things into Yeah, this little idea can shoot into something so big from us. Sure. That, like we just think, I don't know, we think a little just bit differently. Just even from any, just to their infrastructure on their sales team, to having a security guy at the door, to if sales, peop, if sales guys are gonna get commission or not, to having just strictly warehouse people in the back that are just grabbing shoes and stuff. Uh, to the way shoes are displayed, to the way they're tagged, just like little things like that, they're also important. Over here, just Yeezys, on Yeezys, on Yeezys, they move a lot of them. Ian hits me up for a bunch of these because they move the crap out of them. Um, and <laughs> We're the complete opposite. Yes, yeah. Good for them, they can move a ton of them. Um, and yeah, just the overall really, really well put together store. We're gonna go talk to the boys right now in the sneaker room, in the really the private room is what they call it. All right, so that's gonna wrap up our time here with private selection. Scotty, we lost him. Uh, yeah. Hand down, but we do have Ian and Larry still with us. Last thing I wanted to mention before we end up this vlog, you gotta fit check him, boys. So okay. give it to him. Got to. Go so if you don't know, full fit Larry. Why? Because if I'm wearing a fit, it's gotta be complete. 
full all the way to the bottom. In my opinion, you gotta wear these clothes the way they were intended to be made, so the way that you would see it in like a lookbook or something for the brand. So you're gonna start with the Pleasures hat, you're gonna go to the Pleasures crew, to the Pleasures pant, and maybe even down to a Pleasures sock. Wow. You know what I'm saying? Wow. Because that's a round of applause. Shit is that's that we really do this. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Filler. So that's it. Um, I just put on some bait, a little plum action, mash, you know, just a little something. A little something. Nothing crazy. He's got it. Trust me. Yeah, I, was I, work. The, yeah. hey, I was waiting for the little something, you know. I was waiting for the foam runners, but you didn't have yeah, to put on some. That's all right. That's, that's, that's my travel yeah, yeah. shoe. Yeah. So people don't get it twisted. They think that like I wear foam runners just nonstop. It's really just like a. On the road. On the road thing. I like, it. like I, I'll bring out my actual, you know, See, yeah, I, I was in a phase where I wore them everywhere. I even wore them to the club. Really? <laughs> I had to stop. I had to stop. That was my, I have my pair of sands is, has been in Pacific Ocean, Atlantic Ocean, like inside the ocean. Um, like it's been to like, I don't know how many states now. Now it's just a thing. I just gotta wear them. Yeah, that's like a, it's cool. Well, this is not the last time you guys will see a private selection. They're gonna no. come out to Arizona soon. Yeah. We're gonna do another collab with them. Hopefully in the next month or so, but yeah. we'll figure out the details. Uh, but again, thank you guys for the hospitality. Definitely. Really appreciate of course. it. Yes. And uh, if you guys have not subscribed to them, be sure to go subscribe to them. Private selection, we'll link it down below. And uh, thank you guys again. Thank you. Appreciate, appreciate it. it. Later guys. Yeah. Always appreciate it guys. Appreciate it. Always love. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And now I need a picture. Yep. <laughs>